How's it going everyone? I hope all of you are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Uh, just a little notice before we dive into the podcast. This video was initially supposed to be part two of the overall podcast, but for one reason or another, we decided to upload this one first. Um, so you may be seeing me refer to Jay's video as if we, we already covered some topics, but don't worry, you won't be missing out on anything. We try to approach topics uh, without any need of prior context. Uh, with that being said, the second half is going to premiere on Jay's channel shortly after this one is finished. So be sure to go and check his channel after this one is done. The link is going to be in the description. And one last thing, this video will contain spoilers for Lost Judgment and a little bit for Yakuza 7. But all of that out of the way, thank you for watching. All right, what's going on, everyone? We ain't done this collab in so long, innit? It's been yeah, a while, innit? Two years, it? two years. It's been two years. <laughs> two years. Two whole but years. I... Yeah, but if you lot don't know who we are, I'm King J. I'm known for fighting games, but I have a special place in my heart for Yakuza and Judgment games. Absolutely love them, and I'm here with... Devil Leon 7. How's it going, people? Uh, today, we have a very special podcast where we are just going to sit around... Talk about Last Judgment, you know, all chill. So grab a snack, grab a drink maybe, and just sit down, relax, and listen to us uh, geek out about Last Judgment. Yeah, so, man. Uh, I guess Ooh. to start off, we can talk about, like, you know, just generally speaking, we both finished the game. And right. Uh, we were also just talking about how both of us haven't delved too much into the side content, but I am planning to. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I, you know, I heard a lot of good things about the side content. I heard that it's. Have you played Yakuza Five, by the way? I've watched a lot of videos on it. I haven't played it just yet. I haven't got around to playing it yet. All right. So Yakuza Five is pretty much known for being like the biggest Yakuza game in terms of content, and I've seen people mm -hmm. comparing Lost Judgment's side content. To that game so that should tell really? us something yeah about just how much content um it has so i guess i'm looking forward to that too whenever i get down to streaming it uh, yeah I, feel, I definitely feel like they put a lot of time into this game now like, i feel like this game compared to the last one is definitely a big step up it like, is i i can't think of many areas where it's not an improvement like everything in this game is just so much better than the last game it's crazy like uh, even down to the combat as well like you know like before when i when i first played on the ps4 it felt very it kind of felt slow and it wasn't mm, fluent and stuff like that absolutely. the hits didn't feel like there was impacts and stuff impact and stuff and now it's like you know it, everything just feels like it it's gonna hurt like and uh, yeah i just love yeah yeah no no absolutely all right so we have the following question now so comparing to uh, to the story of the first game which one do you prefer and why? Uh, can I start with this? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, so for me, it's very difficult to pick because both games are about completely different topics. Now, Judgment, the first one is about dementia, Alzheimer, and it's also about government corruption with a focus on the government corruption. So, like, you have Kuroiwa, you know, representing that, um, you know, side of the government. And Lost Judgment also does have go uh, government corruption, but I feel like that wasn't the focus. So you do have Soma, which you find out is... Spoiler if anyone doesn't want to know, but... Uh, you find out that he is a government uh, assassin, basically. Like, they sent him out to do the dirty jobs. But mm. while he is an important boss, the final one is not really like a, you know a government figure so the final one is more of a a person you fight because you have a clash of ideas uh so yagami hasn't has his own understanding of justice but that person has his own understanding of justice and yagami throughout the game tries again and again to convince this person that what he's doing is wrong but he never listens and now it comes down to this you know final fight um now, I guess um, this view of justice aside, we also have, like we said, uh, bullying and suicide in this game, which are, again, heavy topics and 
much more relatable uh, topics than the first game, I would say, because I imagine most people can like tell you about the bullying experience that they had. Um, you know, basically something like that. It's it's something more personal than whatever uh, the first game brought to the table. So, and also, we don't exactly reach a conclusion at the end of Lost Judgment, although the game does try. Like, you beat the final boss, but the final boss basically just walks away. Um, and yeah, like, I think that's one reason, like, some of my friends told me, like, yeah, you know, the, the ending to the game didn't really feel satisfactory, so it was like, whatever. But, um... Mm. But overall, I think I'm actually going to go with Lost Judgment, just, again, because of the more relatable topics that it brought, and because of the tricky subjects, um, like, you know, talking about suicide in games or in movies, whatever, it's not something easy. You have to be careful how you tread, you know? Um, it could mm. hurt people, maybe rem remind them of bad memories, or, you know, that kind of thing. But... I felt like Judgment handled at least most of it uh, in a satisfactory way. Like, you know, when it comes to the bullies, you see them doing their shit, and then you try to stop them. Uh, you try... You also beat them up, which, again, I think it's deserved. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, uh, I think that sums up, like, which one I prefer. I definitely would go with Lost Judgment. What about you? I think both of the stories have a different story to tell. I feel like the first story was a bit more for the adults. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, for me personally, it wasn't really the most interesting story. I think I was kind of more in it for it was a Yakuza slash uh, a Yakuza spinoff. Yeah. So I kind of was like, all right, cool. The story was like, mm, mm -hmm. it didn't really, it didn't really introduce me that well. Whereas mm -hmm. I feel like Lost Judgment was like, yeah, you know what's going on. This is what's going on. You're in a school because of this. You need to, you know, do, you need to, even when they were planting the cameras and stuff like that in there, it was like, yeah, you, this is what you're in there for. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, the tricky subjects and stuff, the, again, this is, you don't, we don't really see this anywhere else. And it's good that they've actually wanted to try and tackle this. I, again, I feel like it's good to kind of spread awareness on stuff like this and what's going on and stuff like that because, Absolutely. you know, the main story is basically saying that the teacher kind of didn't really... They knew the bullying was going on, mm -hmm. but they kind of turned a blind eye. Yeah. And that is crazy because that led into, well, you have to go and play the game. Yeah. You'll find out where it is. But yeah, like, it's just like that type of stuff can happen in schools. And, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's also good to show you, like, look, spread awareness to this and you know it's kind of lead you on to like obviously the ending part where you know the, the kids that were doing the bullying mm -hmm. and now spread an awareness to you see what i'm saying so yeah. it was, it's it felt almost to me like a global reach of even different ages even if you're not meant to play the game and mm -hmm. you played it you understand what's going on yeah whereas if you play judgment the first one it's talking about stuff and it's that is like alzheimer's and you know some people are not gonna get it so yeah, I think Lost Judgment was better for me, personally. Right. Like, I can see why people would, you know, uh, prefer the first game. Like, you know, I f maybe, like, it's just me, but I don't think I have a relative that has... Uh, well, I probably do, but I just don't know about it. Uh, a relative with dementia. So, I feel like to some people, it might actually be, you know, something that they can relate to. Like, having... Uh, an older relative that has uh, this disease, so seeing, like, all of the things that happened in the first game, it might, you know, uh, uh, affect them, or they might like it, or, you know, that kind of thing. But again, it's just that the second game felt way more relatable to me, you know, as just a normal person. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, yeah, just a normal person, you know, a person that, a person that goes to school yeah. will understand this, or if you've been in school, you would know that yeah, yeah, exactly. bullying exists, so I think it just to everyone it kind of applied to you know even like you like you said but i don't know anyone that has alzheimer's in my family and obviously it's it's obviously out there and stuff but i felt like the whole thing of them you know digging the eyes out and trying to get this drug and mm -hmm. it just yeah i don't know now that i've seen this story in lost judgment i just they don't even compare yeah yeah i can definitely understand that um we talked about it in uh jay's segment of the video but uh 
people would look down on Yagami for beating up kids, but I'm gonna say this again. No. No, okay? It's completely... What he did was right. He did nothing wrong. Kids in high school can be fucking mental. I've seen it. Jay has seen it. I've seen it. Uh, yeah, like, you would have kids carrying knives, trying to start shit for no reason, uh, picking on people that don't really... haven't really done anything to them. So yeah, that was just satisfying to see for me. Hundred uh, percent. Even that, just looking, even back in school days, even if they just didn't like you and you looked at them, like stuff like that, you can get into it. Like it won't even be a fight; it will just be literally, literally bullying. You know, because they don't want to fight; they just want to yeah. get on with school and stuff like that. So, yeah, I know there's people. I even saw a review where someone was saying, "Yeah, why is this guy going into the school?" And <laughs> I looked at it and I said, "It's kind of funny still, but <laughs> it's not what like this is not what they're trying to get out. They're uh -huh. trying to get out." that you know bullying exists we need to be aware of it and we need to spread the awareness on it that's all that is mm, absolutely yeah um i feel like there was something that i was also going to bring up but i forgot what it was uh right um i guess we can touch on the suicide aspect as well a bit uh again it's another tricky touchy subject it's never easy to talk about but I really appreciate that they brought, you know, these kind of kinds of things to the game because again, they happen everywhere and just seeing like some awareness about it in the game, I suppose, it um, I thought it was a good message. Yeah, I, again, very very difficult thing to tackle because you know, there's obviously there's a lot of hard times in life and obviously, you know, I know people that have done suicide and stuff like that so it's a very very difficult subject so obviously i feel i feel like it's 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 hard and i know some people wouldn't want to be reminded of it in a game mm -hmm. but i do have to give a lot of respect for sega and rgg studio for just even just spreading awareness and stuff like this because we don't see no games talking about this at all i don't i couldn't tell you the last game that talked about suicide and stuff like that so right and even bull bullying at this level because it shows you like bullying at a, a, a really deep level mm -hmm. you know and yeah it's just big thank you I, a big thank you for that me personally big thank you to rgg studio and say for me for as sure. well yeah so yeah because it does happen and we just we, it's just we're not aware of it because we don't see it we're not when on social media we don't see mm. people getting bullied and it doesn't get showcased yeah like it's always when it's too late they're showing you in game of how it bleeds up to it so yeah man big 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 thank you to show just spreading awareness right right um and also uh this is another thing we talked about in jay's segment of the video but the sexual harassment topic i told jay that i saw a reviewer i think um mentioning how that was such a bad thing about the game but again that reviewer probably didn't get far enough to the game to see that it was all staged so Again, like, it, you know, sexual harassment is another touchy subject, but mm -hmm. uh, the the game just tried to deliver, I guess, that sub subject matter in a way that you don't expect. Like, when you find out it's staged, everything changes, basically. You know that it's not even real. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, no, definitely. I think they... I feel like, because there were so much deep topics that they, they touched on, I feel like this one was kind of like a one where it was like, we want to touch on it, but we don't want to touch on it too much. Uh -huh. So I felt like they kind of done it in a way of, yeah, it's staged, mm -hmm. but you kind of, they've kind of touched on it just to kind of let you know that that's also goes on as well type of thing. So, yeah. Right. Um, now we can move on to talking about uh, the final boss. You know, we talked about him plenty already, but uh, yeah. let's have another round. Uh, so... Oh, man. I thought the fight was pretty good for what we got. There could have been more. Could have been more action sequences. Could have been more quick time events. But the dynamic intro was delicious. The soundtrack is delicious. And I, I don't know. I just thought it was a pretty good fight overall. And I thought it was the second half of the final boss, if that makes sense. Soma being the first. But, um, but anyway, I also wanted to talk about, I guess, like... The clash of ideas itself so mm. i think my only nitpick about it is that yagami 
I saw my friends memeing about this. Yagami relied... Spoiler, uh, spoiler alert incoming, by the way, if you don't want to hear this, but... Yagami relied a little too much on Sawa Sensei. My friends would just talk to me and say... Like, whenever Kawana tries to speak about his own vision of justice, Yagami's like, Sawa Sensei. And then Kawana tries to justify again, and he's like, uh, Sawa Sensei. Uh, Sawa is, you know, the teacher that uh, died as a result of, you know, Kawana doing what he did. So, mm -hmm. so Yagami would keep using her name again and again and again, which I understand. But, uh, I don't know, it felt like he used her name a little too much and it got redundant. And I know that some of my friends found it annoying and it just seemed, um, like, I don't know, cheesy by the end of the game. Because he used her name so much. But again, I understand why they had him use her name so much. Because, again, it's, it's a person and she ended up dying. So, it's... Right. So, I just want to touch on that. I don't... You know what? Mm -hmm. I feel like they try to... I hear what you're saying. And I understand what you're saying. Uh -huh. But I feel like because he was trying to get information out of her. Yes. And then she ended up dying. And he's ended up seeing her die. I remember when he done that figure, he was like, kind yeah. of, he's enraged. So I feel like it's weird because he never had really a bond with her. Mm. It was just kind of like trying to get information out of her. So I didn't really understand him getting mad mm -hmm. because it was like, you're trying to solve this subject. You're trying I mean, this this, um, this situation you're not really getting much out of her because she's not really trying to give you any information. You then kind of getting a bit of information, then yeah. she dies. Yeah. I was like, what was you enraged by? Because you lot wasn't like friends. I don't mean it in a rude way. You lot yeah, wasn't yeah, yeah. friends and <laughs> it didn't really make sense. But then I feel like they were trying to give it like, yeah, you know what? Maybe Yagami was really like trying to, you know, save someone's life. So he just got mad now because he, he can't like, he can't get no more information. Mm -hmm. So maybe he was using her name to basically say like you know enough's enough so every time he kept mm -hmm, on saying it, it was mm -hmm. basically like enough's enough yeah um, uh, it's a bit difficult to explain because i kind of know how i want to explain it but it's a bit hard but it's like it's almost like he's trying to stop Jin from doing what he's doing obviously he wants to kill mm -hmm. all the lot that was yeah. doing Spoiler alert, by the way, well, you that spoiler alert already, but yeah. <laughs> All the people that done the, done the, the that was there when th that guy, mm -hmm. you know, died, he wants to kill all of them. So he, so basically he's trying to tell him like, look, mm -hmm. stop, stop, mm -hmm. stop. But yeah. the only way he can say stop is if he references that dead person. Know, right. And that kind of gives him the kind of soft spot to be like, all right, you know what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe that I can't do that. And. But he did say it a bit a lot, I can't lie, but I do feel like they were trying to reference her, so it's kind of like the kind of like, you know, the sensitive side and kind of give you like the, oh yeah, you know what, she's died, so kind of just be a bit more so, calmer. I feel like I understand his strong reaction just based on the fact that, like, out of all of the people involved, she was probably... The most innocent. The most innocent, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Like, so it, it made the scene much more tragic because she was just a bystander, really. But, mm -hmm. but I do know someone, I think, who told me that she's not really as innocent as you might think. Because uh, I think when... I'm not sure who was getting bullied. Uh, remember the guy in the detention center, the old guy? He had yeah. a son, right? He got bullied and then killed himself. Yeah, yeah. So I think that son, she saw him being bullied, but she didn't really do much about it. So that was, yeah, that was her. That was her. Yeah, yeah. So she but, she tried to explain but, it from her point of view. She said, "I tried to submit this paper to this uh, chief teacher or something, but he just mm. ripped it off." So I don't know what more she could have done. I guess maybe go to the police, but like I don't know. Yeah, but you gotta remember, like, wasn't she young at the time? No, no, that was when she oh, was she a was teacher. A yeah. Teacher. Oh, yeah, that was when she was a teacher. There's... That's why she turned the blind eye. Sorry, my bad. I'm getting get confused. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't worry about it. So she was a teacher at the time. Yeah. But what I'm trying to say is, all right, so she's done her part, but she's basically saying, all right, well, I've done my part. There's nothing else I could. So this is why it makes it feel more, even more realistic because it's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This type of stuff goes on in school. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you're here, someone's getting bullied, but 
the teacher ain't saying everything that's going on. You find out that again. So it's basically the same thing. So it's like, it's almost like to me that, okay, she found out she tried. She she did try. Like, we can't say she didn't try. Yeah. She tried to. The head teacher, it was the head teacher, right? From what I remember. Yes. He ripped it up. Yes. Right. So it's almost like, what can you do other than go to the police? Yeah. And then it's like, but if she goes to the police and the police says, and she says, oh, she went to the head teacher, you get the head teacher in trouble. Mm -hmm. and she gets the school in trouble as well. Like, you know, schools have reputation and uh, no parent would want to send their kid there. I think the principal said that concern. Uh, right, right, right. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. So that uh, was when they were all in the school and they were all doing the... Right. Yeah, the investigation. Yeah. Right, so that's what I'm saying. So there's nothing else she could have really have done. Like it literally was, ah, uh, well, and then obviously what happened happened, mm -hmm. and she's obviously feeling guilty because she tried to do what she wanted to. So I still think she's innocent. Uh huh. So yeah. So like, she tried to do something about it. She didn't really solve anything, but mm. at the same time, I can't really blame her because, uh, like. We we already said she tried doing something it didn't work, but she still uh, like felt bad about it, and like you said, this kind of reflects how it actually happens in real life. Not everything gets solved, unfortunately. Um, mm. Teachers may try, like I don't know, depends on what we mean by try. Like Jin, what he did was like, yeah, hey, yeah, just don't overdo it. And then there's Sawa who tried to do something, but it just didn't work. Uh, but like. Like I said, despite that, I can't really blame her too much. I do think her death was still, like, sad because she didn't really have too much to do with it. She just died in the crossfire, which is unfortunate. So, I, I think I do understand Yagami's strong reaction to that. Because, again, she's just as innocent as it gets, I guess. She had, she had, a, she had a child, right? Uh, no, I don't think she did. I swear when you go into the thing... Ah, oh, you know what? I might need to replay the action again because you go into the house uh -huh. and you search around the house uh -huh. and then you speak to her. All right, maybe she doesn't. Maybe. I... Oh no, no, that's another character actually. That's the woman that um, that's involved with the fake sexual harassment. Right. Yeah. Uh, My bad. False salam. False salam. No worries. No worries. Uh, <laughs> what else? All right, cool. I guess. I guess we can also talk about that woman actually. Um, uh, Mm. So, I don't know really how to say this without sounding very controversial, but the mm. fact that they put an example of a staged sexual harassment, I felt like that was a very bold move. Because, you know, mm. it's, it's again, not easy to handle a topic like this, but they handled it like this, and I guess you can't really say this kind of thing doesn't really happen. Because I remember also in Kiwami 1, there was a sub-story where... Kiryu is just walking around in the street, and then there's this woman who accuses Kiryu of uh, groping her. Kiryu did nothing. Kiryu I've did... done that one. Yeah, so yeah. then she goes and calls this like random Yakuza dude, and she's like, hey, he touched me. And then Kiryu's like, dude, I didn't touch shit. Leave me alone. So, hmm. again, I, I guess I, I'm just trying to say that um, I do appreciate them adding uh, something like that, uh, I suppose. I agree. I agree. I feel like it was definitely something that, again, is a bold move. I've, even when I was playing the story and I was like, oh, yeah, this happened. And, you know, you're, you're, you're there finding out what's going on. And then the guy that's in the detention was like, mm -hmm. it was, it's just mad. It was a mad kind of way to explain yeah. that, you know, this mm -hmm. was staged. It was, mm -hmm. it just was weird. Like, but again, they've, they've touched on that. They, they touched on the other stuff as well. Mm -hmm. And again, it, this was a lot of real life stuff that does actually happen. I'm not saying that, like, just for everyone, I'm not saying that it doesn't happen. Yeah. Uh, and all of them are staged. I'm just saying that uh -huh, some same. of them, some of them could be saying, some of them could be staged. Mm -hmm. Some of them could be. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. it was just good to see the reality, and that's, that's what I feel like. Judgment, the first one was missing. It was missing the reality, and mm -hmm. I feel like lost judgment is the reality of a lot of things that can happen in real life. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, I guess uh, we pretty much talked about it, I think. But the grey morality of the story, I think it's something that we both appreciate. 
Uh, yeah. Props to RGG Studios for actually, you know, doing all of this stuff. Um, Definitely. But yeah, I think this brings us to the next point, which is... What is something that you wish was done better in Last Judgment? Oh, man. Um, Last Judgment, I, I feel like them having a more, more strong muscle in RK is one of them. I feel like the detective could have had a better role. I know we, we, we had a fight with the detective, but mm -hmm. it just seemed like he was just in and out of the story. It didn't feel like he was kind of like, you know... A stable a solid character. Fight. Yeah, it just seemed like, huh, like, mm -hmm. we're fighting, you know, because we've having an argument, and then he's just... We don't really see him. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, I felt like a lot of the battles were really good. I feel like maybe we could have had more of Tesso involved. I feel like he was... Absolutely, fight, yes. Yeah, that fight was so good in the rain, and then oh, it's just man. like... The yeah, dynamic like, intro, the track. The track was quiet because of the rain, but I didn't mind that too much. Just everything about that fight, the quick time event, the setting, it's just so perfect. I love it. That's what I'm saying. I, you know, I would have liked to see more of Tesla's kind of like, because he had like a gang, right? Yeah, and yeah. Uh, it wasn't really like, yeah, it kind of was just like, we saw we saw his crew at the start kind mm -hmm. of in the track, but it was just like, would have liked to see more maybe stuff from him and yeah. you know even when we have that long battle at at the end where we're going where we're really going for the RK gang maybe he could have brought some of these guys and they could have yeah. like done stuff and he'd be like yeah yeah you got me go in and it would have been more impactful wouldn't it it's just true true I, I just felt like there was some stuff that was they executed a lot of the stuff well in terms of story story was excellent but I feel like in terms of bringing in members like yeah man they should have been like just like yakuza zero when they had you had three of the guys and then you had the head guy mm -hmm. like you, it, you need to have some real rk muscle not no akatsu and then you've got like this other goon that's like underneath akatsu we need to have all three of them like yeah these are the bad guys we have to take these guys out this is a real gang because if you got like a load of like i don't know guys that are not serious and then you got akatsu at the top and then you've got so much it's like well who are these guys then? Just, just fighting. Yeah. Random bums. That's who we're fighting. You know, we're not fighting anyone serious. So you, I feel like that could have been a serious thing. You actually reminded me of something as well with the final battle. I was, uh, I forgot to mention this on my list, but I mm. was going to say I would have loved to see more long battles, but oh my God, the final long battle was amazing to me. You have rain going on. You have a remix of Final Destination, the song from the first game. And all of the boys are lined up together, ready to fucking tango. And you just go at it. And like, in the prior cutscene, uh, they tell you that there's about a hundred of them. And you actually fight a hundred of them. It's not like the previous, uh, you know, Yakuza games where they might tell you like, yeah, you're gonna fight a lot of dudes, but it doesn't really feel like a lot of them. But here, you, I don't know. Like, that fight, when I was fighting, like, all of them, it felt like that fight dragged on for half an hour. And I say this as a good thing. Like, it actually felt like you were in a brawl with a lot of people. It was so good. Um, you know what yeah? you know was funny about that, yeah, is uh -huh. when I was doing that fight, I was actually thinking about you. And not in that way, but I was like, <laughs> yo, like, I was like, I'm doing this fight. Because I usually, I watch a lot of your long battles on uh -huh. your channel. Like, I'm a... I'm a Big support i like to watch thank a lot you. of his stuff thank you, thank if i'm you. not in the game so i was like damn this battle is so long like i wonder how devil leon's getting on with when he plays <laughs> because this battle is long this is not like no oh, other yeah. Yeah, yeah. long battle that i've had and i was just like yo <laughs> this is actually crazy so it is yeah no I, I i really did enjoy it i thought it was fun and i i don't know yeah you you this didn't feel like it was ending it felt like you're fighting them and then you're knocking down guys and yeah some next guys come in yeah i, I was like yo this is actually a long battle it this is i think this like is really i think like the only thing that might have just made it feel a bit uh what's the word tedious maybe is the fact that between fights you get these segments where you slow down and you have to investigate and then you climb and then i don't know at the time i think I think it was okay, but looking back on it, if you want to replay that part, I guess, I can see that 
uh, I guess, kind of annoying people who want to just go through that again. But I didn't mind it too much. Um, yeah, people trying to speed run it again. Mm -hmm or whatever they do for content, it probably would be a bit long. I feel like when you first go through it and you're doing like the actual story and you're going through it, it's, it's a nice, it's a breath of fresh air, it? but I feel like, again, like you said, there was so many opponents, man. That that was literally yeah, like, that was, what is going on? That was the long battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is why they needed a couple more henchmen because it, it felt like there's so many guys in this gang. True, so, true. And then you've only got Akasu, and then you've got Soma? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, do you remember that uh, forklift scene, by the way? Yep, 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 yep. When they go through, <laughs> the, they go through the door, and they're all climbing on, and they're all yeah, like this. I thought that was so good. I, uh, it reminded me, you know, so where they landed on, on that forklift, so basically, is that the same place where Lost Judgment was? The because hospital. Looked, right. Yeah, because it looks like the same thing. It could have been, could have been. I mean, they reuse a lot of assets, so it's definitely possible. Yeah, it, it yeah. looks exactly this. I was like, this looks so similar. <laughs> so, yeah. Could, yeah, could have been. Uh, I think one thing that I do wish was done better in this game as well is the quick time events. I, I love the animations, but oh my god, seeing left, right, up triangle, R1, L2, like... Please, come on. I just want to get through this. I thought it was quite messy as well, I'm not going to lie. I, like, yeah, if you if you fight your first match, like, if you fight it for the first time, uh -huh. and you just start seeing these free sequences, it's like your your hands ain't all over the control panel. Yeah, like, it's not yeah. Gonna, you know what I mean? It's <laughs> like, it's my hands are like this playing the control panel, and I'm seeing left, triangle, oh, one. <laughs> and it's timed as well. Ready? Yeah, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready, so... I felt like you could maybe just do it to buttons like that are on the face pad or the control pad. Yeah. Not like the shoulder buttons. Just mm -hmm. do face pad and like directions. That would be better than doing shoulder buttons, face face buttons, and then, you know, directions. It's like, yeah, it's too much. It's crazy because when I was first going through the game, I thought that you have to use the analog stick, but then people told me you don't have to use the analog stick, which like I just find it so difficult with the analog stick because, you know, you, you might try to go for left, but it goes up slightly or down slightly. Like, yeah, that messed me up a bit. Uh, was the first judgment? First judgment was analog stick, was it? It wasn't D. It wasn't the D pad because the D pad you was able to switch between. Yeah, yeah the first judgment didn't have these kind of uh, quick time events. They had no like arrow inputs at all. It's just like, you know, the. Mm. Yeah, the triangle, uh, circle, whatever. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say I do want to see more quick time events in this game, but with those kinds of inputs, I, I'm hesitating. No, 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 no. We we we, we won it back to the way how it was before. I, yeah. I, I I do not like those ones at all. I feel like that was one that was the time. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Maybe not. Like okay, so I felt. At least if they might have given us a heads up, that might have m made me feel a bit better about it. But still, like, I don't know if I like that change. Because mm. they throw you, I remember, it's it's the first Tesso fight. They yeah, throw yeah. you, they throw you into that fight. All of a sudden you see like a cutscene playing and you have no idea what's going on. And there's three buttons, like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Oh man, I remember that. That was crazy. I was like, "What? Free buns?" Yeah. Like, yeah. Now that's crazy. Um. Yeah, I just don't know what to say. Uh. I also was gonna say I do wish there was a bit more dynamic intros, but the ones that we got are really good. I love them. But yeah, I, I think this mm. one is just a nitpick for me. What about you? I. I kind of agree. I felt like most of these, I feel like most of these boss fights and stuff weren't that, like, it, it's hard to explain because I feel like the dynamic intros, they're kind of more in the Yakuza games, I would say. Would mm -hmm. you agree on that? I feel like the Judgment games don't really have, they, they mm -hmm. it, it, it builds it up, but it's not as, 
it doesn't draw you in. I feel like the Tesla one, you could classify Tesla one as a dynamic intro, right? Yeah. Cool. So the Tesla one was really good, but mm. I yeah, think I don't know, man. I I think I know what you mean, but uh, I don't know. Like Judgment, the Judgment series having uh, dynamic intros just makes it. How do I describe this? It's like it really makes you feel like this is actually in the same universe as Yakuza. If that makes sense, so that's why I just don't mind them as much. Uh, but yeah. I I like like I said I, I definitely would like more for mm -hmm. sure I mm -hmm. definitely think it would be good because even like the the part at the end when Jin and Jin and Yagami are going there and they're both hooking arms and stuff yeah. like that I feel like that part's really good but I feel like there definitely needs to be like some more stuff because like, you don't really <sighs> obviously we know Yagami is really good at martial arts but we don't really we capture that aspect more in this game but we still don't really capture it that much mm. if that makes sense like we when you fight with him you 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 see he's badass with the martial arts but yeah. you, we don't see this much in the dynamic intros mm. you know so it would be good to see someone do something it's like bap, 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 and just you know oh right okay and then someone else comes in bap, 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 and then intro then the game starts it's like Rah, this guy's badass with the martial arts but we don't see that yeah no i so, think yeah mm -hmm. you so you say so like you, you know even like when he was when the first time when he fights so and he's like you know when he hits up his hand you this like i watched it again and again and again because i wanted to understand the impact of it because when he stabs mm. the uh the, the sneaker this snooker um table mm -hmm. and then he goes to hit him and then he goes bam and he hits him up yeah it's like that could have been so much more impactful like it could have been like a bap, 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 and like it's like yeah. three different angles yeah true like, true like, true I just don't feel like some of the stuff was touched on mm -hmm. as impactful as it could have to understand Yogami as a martial his... artist. Right. Uh, so, yeah, that's actually something that I wanted to talk about with the quick time events as well. I mm. can't remember too many of them right now, but I feel like a lot of them end very similarly with just him like flipping with a kick, and then that's it. Mm. So, I, I think there was. A lot more room for improvement in that regard to really show off more of his uh, uh, martial arts moves. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, I just think those could have been a lot better. Yeah, I agree. Even like the the Kane man, you know, like when like they had their fight in Judgment before, like there was some. They, they, I feel like they had one. I might be when he no, he, he didn't. That was the intro when he sliced the um. When he sliced yeah, the sand. that's the first one. Right. So. Stuff like that and the way how we kind of like dodging him and like stuff like that, man. That's the intro though. That's not the that's not the, the event time mm -hmm. thing. But yeah, just intros like that could have been brought in to this game. It was just such like, just you know, he's ruining the environment. Mm. He's moving away. Yeah. Like, yeah, just stuff like that. I just don't feel like there was enough of it, man. And the, the game looked so beautiful, and you didn't use like a lot of in, stuff in the environment. This... Yeah, I just felt lacking. This actually reminds me of a very unique quick time event from the first game. Uh, you remember Hamura, right? The white suit uh, Yakuza yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. when he's holding a certain character hostage, and then you fight him there, there's a quick time event that happens with a chair, and I thought that was so sick. Do you remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah like, yeah, like yeah. oh, like, that was so clever. Like, I, I don't know what happens. Like, he flips him over to the chair, and then he sh like shoots him away, and then he picks up the chair somehow, and then... I don't know, like, it was so cool. This is what I'm saying, like, those type of those type of stuff would have been great in this game. I just felt like the game is a masterpiece. I could, uh, no, hands down, the game is a masterpiece, but I just feel like there was some stuff where I'm looking and I'm like, mm -hmm. man, Same. It, it could have just been a 10 out of 10 for me if you just added just these little parts and, you know, even, like, with the events and you're pressing the buttons and stuff, like, mm -hmm. If you're pressing free stuff, let me know what the free stuff means. Like, don't <laughs> make me just press free things and then there's something happen. Like, if I press left, maybe it makes him sway left. And then if I press a button, it makes him hit him. Oh. And then if I press R1, uh -huh. it makes me do something else. Mm -hmm. Like, because otherwise it don't make sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because even when you're running and doing the... Ch oh, that's another thing I forgot to mention. Sorry, it just reminded me. Go ahead. So, I, I just want to say this before I forget. The missions where you chase after the per like the whoever you're chasing after, I feel like there could have been more of those. Mm -hmm. 
I felt like there was more infiltration, like the kind of like um, Metal Gear Solid kind of sneaking up. Those missions were a lot more in the first judgment. I feel like there was hardly any in this game, in the story wise, anyways. You mean uh, the tailing only missions, a... right? The ones where you follow people. Yeah, there's only one in the entirety of the story, which. Was that the start of the game? Yeah, that's it. Uh, I think you see more of them with the side content, but you don't see it again in the main story at all. Which actually is funny because I've seen a lot of people saying, thank God, because they hated the tailing so much. They thought it was tedious. Oh, they don't like the tailing. They don't like the tailing. I okay, see. Sorry. Uh, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Don't, don't <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. Sorry, no, no. Just express your opinion, dude. Uh, I don't mind it, but I actually just remembered one thing in Lost Judgment that I didn't understand the logic behind. So, in the first tailing mission, you chase this, or you tell this guy, and mm -hmm. if he spots you, there's like a mm -hmm. detection meter, right? So, this yeah. detection meter does not go down. Yeah, 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 I saw, I saw, yeah. I thought that was very weird, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know why they did that, but I, I just don't know what to say about it. Like, why? It felt like it was more realism, though, because... Mm. Imagine someone is following you, you turn around, and you're looking at the guy. <laughs> it brings up anxiety. It's like, oh, okay, well, yeah. <laughs> this guy is over there. I'm sure he's following me. So yeah. it doesn't change your anxiety on mm. this guy's following me. So I felt like it, to me, I was like, oh, this is actually quite better. I, don't know, I like the tailing missions a lot. I think they're like so real, but maybe, you know, I feel like the first judgment, they had too many, but yeah. I felt like they could have added maybe one more. Yeah, definitely. You know? mm. And the running, the chasing missions are always fun, but I guess they're probably in a lot of the side quests, so mm -hmm. maybe they kind of wanted to keep the main story, the main story action-packed, and then if you want those stuff, you can get onto the side quests. So I'm not going to fault them 100%. Maybe I need to go and see all the side missions and try them out and see. Same. Like, I don't really mind it. Uh, like, usually when I'll play a game, I'll just you know, try to enjoy whatever there is to enjoy about it. It's mm. really difficult for me to come to any person and say, yo, I hate this game. Because, mm. because like, I have so many games that I try to play mm. and I drop them. But I still can't say that I drop them because I hate them. I don't know, it's just something weird with me. When I play something, I just try to enjoy the good in it, if that makes sense. It's hard for me to criticize. Uh, so stuff like tailing, I actually don't really don't really mind it, but I, I guess I can see why people don't like it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. There's sometimes when I was when like some of it didn't really make sense. Like the guys looking back, or some there's some type of mechanic that did was a bit clunky mm -hmm. and it didn't really work. So I can understand why people didn't like it. Mm -hmm. But I just felt like because he's a detective. Yeah. It, it kind of just goes hand in hand. He's a detective. Yeah trying to find out some information he is trying mm. to sneak up on someone it just felt like like they had some you know what they had another one actually where you had to flick a coin or you had to go and um oh you yeah to go and, like that one i thought was quite funny but i also thought it was quite stupid <laughs> it's like if i'm hiding behind somewhere and and you see like a coin going on the floor <laughs> wouldn't you go and think who just flicked that yeah <laughs> oh. like how how silly are they? I don't know what to say about this kind of thing, honestly. It's just so stupid, I can't help but laugh. Yeah, like, I, I looked and I was like, oh, what, you, I can go flick some money and he's gonna go over there. <laughs> like, and then there's a guy all the way over there and he doesn't know that this guy's gone over there and I've suffocated this guy and I'm going to... All right. I mean, if that's the way <laughs> the game works, then... Cool. Yeah, I get you. <laughs> it's, uh... it's, it's crazy. I've also seen criticism from people saying they felt like the infiltration or stealth battles or whatever, they kind of replaced the long battles because in all of those segments, you could have probably had like a, a fight leading up to, you know, the point that you, you want to reach. But instead, you know, they implemented the system. Um, and again, I can see why people may have a problem with that. But I thought the stealth was a nice little mechanic that they added because... I don't think we ever had stealth before. There was a stealth mission in Yakuza 6 where you had to like just walk. That That's all you can do. You can't do anything else. <laughs> so yeah, it's nice seeing them flesh it out a bit more. Um, and yeah. I, 
I think if we had loads of long battles and not no infiltrations, then I feel like that might as well be called Yakuza. That, yeah, yeah, that is a good point. So I feel like they kind of, you know, I feel like they're just trying to see what works now. I feel like they know that, mm -hmm. you know, Yagami does detective infiltration. It's kind of like what we said before, like, you know, I kind of felt like there, there was a lack of long battles, but then the more we speak and the more we're talking about the information and stuff, it's kind of like, well, Yakuza, Yakuza, for that reason, you're going there and you're, you're one of these guys and you're just beating up everyone. Mm -hmm. And then you've got Yagami, who's a martial artist and, you know, he's a detective at the same time. So he's going to be kind of infiltrating what's going on, but he might do it in a more of a calmer manner than someone that's a Yakuza that's gone crazy. And True, true. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Like, right. When you think about it, someone like Yagami can't really afford to make as much noise as, you know, Someone like Kiryu. Kiryu, the only way he fucking uh, like communicates is just with his fists, so it doesn't make a difference. Uh, but Yagami, on the other hand, he's a civilian. He has to be careful about this. Um, and yeah, um, I completely understand it. 100%, man. I think I just remembered something very minor, but it's such a cool thing that is absent in Lost uh, Judgment. Uh, in the first game, if you stay in a street battle for too long, the cops are gonna arrive. I think, <gasps> I I think that's gone in Lost Judgment. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's Why? Gone, it's gone. Like, dude, it's that gone. was so cool. It's like, gone. yeah. I can see why people might find it annoying again, but I thought that was such a cool thing that separated Judgment from Yakuza. So, listen, no, I if you're against that, if anyone is against that out there. <laughs> shame on you that <laughs> was so good because you had to fight like these these stronger opponents the ones with the big life bars and stuff like that and they've got it in this game but it's like i felt like with the first game it's like you're on a timer so it was like mm -hmm. yeah beat these guys up quick before the yeah. cops come yeah so it felt like you're really in the street like you know yeah you're, 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 these guys are the police like someone's called the cops and you gotta run now like that is oh, true. Man. I don't know why they got rid of that. That was so clean. It was just good. Like, you know, it's... it felt like real life. You know, you're, you're not fighting in the street. The police are going to come. You better run or you're going to get handcuffed. It's like one of those details that make the most sense out of all of the, th all of the things that they do. Like, if mm. you see people fighting in the streets, obviously the cops are going to arrive on the scene. So I just really appreciated that. Uh... And like, mm. another detail that I don't know why they took away, I don't know if I talked about it already, but mm. item shortcuts, now you only have one shortcut. In Judgment, you had three shortcuts with the D-pad. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why they did that, actually. That's actually a good point. I don't know why they got rid of free short. It used to be free shortcuts. You could put, like, right. items and stuff. Yeah, so you could maybe put, like, a health item, maybe a heat gauge item, you know, something like that. But now it's just one, and every time it runs out, you have to go to the inventory again, select another shortcut item. And I just found that a bit tedious. Yeah, I don't know why. Again... I can only bring it down to like they're trying to simplify the game because you know that's again that's someone that's like actually played Yakuza in four. If you're seeing three boxes, it's like oh, um, what am I gonna do with these three boxes? Whereas this game now it's like oh yeah, you've got one box. What's that? Oh, an item. You know what I mean? It's just straight to the point, simple. Um, we, I want to talk about an item. There was one item that you get from oh, I can't remember. It it, it makes you like just mad strong i can't remember what it was but you get it you mean like you might know you mean like the potions that you get the potions yeah did you get one of them like i didn't buy any other ones it was like with the story mm -hmm. and you get one of them and this potion made me mad strong. yeah 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 i know what and you're I talking was, about and i was looking because i remember i didn't have no more health items that was the only thing that i had and i always had to face gin at the end so i faced <laughs> soma and i finished all my items everything and then i've got this one thing i'm like because i kept on dying because I, I never had nothing and i was like oh so what do i what's this then <laughs> i took the thing and i was just going crazy and it was just doing so much damage i was like wow so i said that nah, when I do go back into the game, I'm going to start getting more potions because I was like, no, nah, this thing is absolutely crazy. Yeah. So, uh, I like that. I like 
I'm pretty sure there's also potions that do crazier stuff, like have you conjure fire out of nowhere, and then... <laughs> I, I think there's one that lets you shoot fireballs, so there's a lot of interesting effects. Uh, I think I got a bunch of them as DLC or something like that, so I can oh. just go ahead and use some of them right away. But yeah. I guess if you don't have that, you can uh, talk to the potion guy, I think he's in the second city, Yokohama. Uh, okay. Yeah, just try to do his missions. You'll unlock more stuff. Uh, actually, that's something else I forgot to talk about. Uh, how do you feel about the fact that they reused the Yokohama city? I think it's great. I feel like um, we're on the rise now. So, again, before Yakuza got big, again, I was, your channel was the only one that I've... Well, I still... It's only your channel that I watch for Yakuza. And this ain't pre-planned, guys. He didn't pay me to say this. <laughs> I'm, I Like, I watched his channel ridiculous amounts. Even when I was going on tournaments and stuff, like, I would watch your channels when I'm like abroad because I like Yakuza stuff and I would, like, be like, oh, I want to watch this long battle and... Like, I, I just think they're so sick. So it's like, before Yakuza 7 got to... It's, I feel like Yakuza 7 is the commercialized Yakuza. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, everyone kind of knows of Ishiban and all of, this, all of these people now, Kiryu, da 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 The game is a lot more global now. It's not mm -hmm. just what you watch on YouTube. So yeah. everyone's playing it, everyone's getting involved. Um, then now you've got Lost Judgment, because obviously Judgment was... Judgment wasn't global. Let's be honest. Mm. People, people that knew about it knew about it because you played Yakuza. Yeah. But now, Lost Judgment. You're seeing Lost Judgment have adverts on Twitch and all of these things, and it's it's globalized now. And it had a global release. You know, remember Yakuza? I mean, no, sorry, not Yakuza. Remember Judgment before had a release in Japan, uh -huh. <laughs> and it came out ages after yeah you know you you helped me complete yakuza in japanese <laughs> exactly so it's like you know it's i feel like it's crossing over now everyone's no like these both of these games yakuza like a dragon global lost judgment global they're both crossing over it's they're having fun with it and mm -hmm. i feel like this is the right time for you know yakuza games I, i'll pull lost judgment in there as well mm -hmm. yakuza games now have their shine because they're working on the next game now, right? Which is the new Yakuza from what I saw. I, they had a I think they basically confirmed Yakuza 8. Yeah, they yeah, I saw so that saw it saying that they they they're working on it. And I'm like, Yeah. <laughs> ah, this is crazy. They're crazy. Like, oh my god. So, so I'm looking forward to that now. So you know, and it's it's good to see the crossovers because we saw Zayo in um in Lost Judgment. He was cooking the food. Oh yeah, I, I really love that scene so much. We haven't talked about it yet, but oh my god. Mm. Uh, yeah. And just so... seeing <laughs> Tesso trying to oversell the food, like, yeah, this is so fucking good, thank you, my man. Oh my god. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. So you, you're, this is, you're actually seeing it happen now, so they, yeah. the worlds are crossing over. Yeah. Like, you, we, we spoke about, like, judgment and being a bit like it, and yeah. but this is like, we're in, they're in this town now, and this... This is the same town, so mm -hmm. you know there's there's it gives it open speculation to like yeah it, they could cross over, so mm -hmm. we don't know. Maybe in the next Yakuza you might have a side quest with Yagami, or in the next Judgment if they ever do one, because I know they're going through some situations in a minute. But yeah. if they ever do do one, then there's room to cross over. Mm -hmm. True, so, true. Yeah. Uh, like you said, unfortunately we don't know if there's going to be another Judgment game, but if there will be. I do think they mm -hmm. have a few characters they could choose that could, you know, take the mantle. Like, you know, Kaito, uh, maybe even uh, the Vendetta Mask guy, Segura. Mm. I don't know, I just feel like they could still continue with it if they wanted to, but, uh, but yeah. How do you feel about that? Or is it sensitive to talk about? How do you feel about that this could have been the last Judgment game? Can oh, you talk man. about it, or is it... Is it... No, 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 I can talk about it. Like, if I'm being yeah. honest, if I'm being completely honest, before mm -hmm. Lost Judgment came out, I was... I don't know how to put this, but... I was in some kind of phase where I'm just trying to, I guess, take a break, because I did mm -hmm. feel a certain burnout, and I felt like I wanted to just play, like, other stuff for some time. So, mm -hmm. it took until the release month of Lost Judgment for me to actually get hyped for this game. Uh, oh. 
I didn't know what to expect with Lost Judgment. I kind of expected them to reuse a lot of stuff, which, you know, they always reuse stuff, but I still felt like Lost Judgment was amazing. Uh, the new stuff that they brought, like, you know, new fighting styles, pretty sick. The story, again, I love the story as well. And yeah, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that the game just blew my mind about, about like, how just good it is. So... It is kind of a shame if it's gonna stop because I feel like judgment definitely can go places. Like the 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 jump from how judgment was to how lost judgment is, it's huge. And to think that it could be even better, but we might not get that, it's just sad. Um But like I said, I do think if they wanna pull it off, they can pull it off. What about you? What do you think if it's gonna be the last game? You know, I was kind of on the same boat as you, man. I didn't know. When I first saw it, I didn't really see that many interesting characters. I did say that on the first uh, reaction video of when I saw the trailer, because I was like, oh, didn't really see anyone that kind of stood out. I was like, oh, yeah, like this character looks good or anything like that. Usually when you when I watch the, like, the Yakuza trailers and stuff, I'm like, yeah, this guy looks mad. Like, let me watch this. Let me, let me see more. Yeah. And I didn't really feel that with this judgment. It was almost like, yeah, I don't know what to expect. It's, same kind of scenery you know they're in the he's they're in court and they're speaking about something and you know someone's died and it mm -hmm. kind of was just like mm, i don't know man i need to see more for me to yeah. kind of say something that would say that this game is going to be really good um they kind of done a lot of interesting stuff leading up to it which i found was pretty different so they they done a stream from what i remember where they were talking about stuff about the game and the, you know this the new system and stuff like that and when it's going to be released and yeah that's when they said the global release which was you know it was a, it was a success from what i can see um it being the last judgment game is is crazy in my eyes because i feel like they I, had judgment Go on. correct me if i'm wrong but i always felt like you preferred judgment to yakuza games as well I don't know. It's just the feeling that I got. Yeah, <laughs> we could talk about it after. Let me. <laughs> okay. Go on. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So yeah. So like you know, I feel like we've we're on the rise with Judgment. Judgment is there's stuff going on. It's really good game. I feel like I feel like they're building on Yagami's character more. So I do feel like we're on the right path. But I do feel like ending it now so abrupt yeah. is not what needs to be done and just to answer your question about uh yakuza and judgment so i like yakuza yeah uh-huh i think yakuza is great but i do feel like kiryu as a character kiryu as a character is amazing like obviously he's what he's just the guy that answers with fists and mm -hmm. you know but i feel like i feel like ishiban might be better than i don't want to say this, uh... but uh, <laughs> say this. what have you done <laughs> I feel like Ishiban might be a more funnier character, a more favorable character. Like, than Kiryu. look, like controversy aside, mm. I don't want to sound like I'm just trying to be right, but if you try to look at it objectively, <laughs> Kiryu, Kiryu is kind of bland. Well, bland might he be is. a bland might he be is. a negative word i don't want to piss anyone off but like <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't like he, he's not very outspoken i guess so he doesn't really have the kind of moments that ichiban would have right ichiban is right. very outspoken he's funny he tries to look things at a in a positive light but mm. when shit does get serious he will get serious so i don't know i also loved ichiban so much i love yakuza 7 i think it's one of the best stories in the series. Uh, but if someone mm. tells me they like Ichiban over Kiryu, I would be like, yeah, I can definitely see why. So there you have it. Oh, thank you, man. Because I, I knew I was going to get a lot of hate if I said it on my own. Man. Hey, but, no, just, yeah. just speak your opinion. Don't worry about anyone, dude. Yeah, yeah no. Nah, so Ichiban, exactly what you said. Like When he's mad, you just see him go mad. And you, know, you hear him talk really fast. Yeah. And then, you know, he's, he's always about people yeah that's that's yeah, exactly so that's why i like ishiban because he's like you see him and he's he's got a lot of heart man he's got a yeah. lot of heart whereas yeah yeah Kiryu, he, he's just he's going through it you know he's one of them guys that are just you know 
Like, yeah, he's badass, but bland. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite like there. He's he he's he just he goes through emotion. Yeah. So my thing with Kiryu is, everyone likes him because he's that guy that doesn't really talk. Yeah. He'll punch. He, he fights everyone. Yeah. But then he goes through things that he sees, like he might get his, like obviously if he master kill it, that get killed mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. someone gets killed or some, you know that he's going through the pain. Yeah. So you, he's the character that you can, you go through the pain with. Whereas Ishiban is that laughing, funny, but if he, things get serious, he's angry and he might not be as strong as Kiryu, but his personality to me is better. Also remember it took, Spoiler alert for Yakuza 7, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. It took Kiryu to stop Ichiban from being pissed in Yakuza 7 at one point. So, I don't know, mm -hmm. like... Uh, I, I love that. And I guess it just says something about... How mental Ichiban can get if, you know, things call for it. Um, I thought that was really cool. Uh, yeah, no, definitely. So, yeah, I think, personally... Um, Yakuza Like a Dragon, I don't think... It's hard to say, man, because I feel like Like a Dragon and Lost Judgment are two different games, and mm. I feel like it's hard to... I feel like there was a lot more twists in Like a Dragon. Mm, absolutely. Uh, uh, but... It's okay, you don't have to choose. Like, no, I... I, feel like I, sh I feel like I should, because <laughs> it's a good question. I feel like... I feel like Like a Dragon's more complete. You know what? That does make sense. Uh, like, I don't know where to start with it. But yeah, like, going from start to finish, I felt like the ending just gives you everything that you wanted like, compared right. to something like Lost Judgment. So, right. I, I get what you mean. Um, yeah. I felt like Lost Judgment was kind of like, everything was going on. I feel like Lost Judgment is, a, is this, like, it's a cluster of excitement and you know a lot of a lot of drama a lot of intense battles but i feel like it doesn't deliver the end that you want yeah that you want whereas like a dragon is like from the start it's like oh yeah you see what's going on then it goes into like you know the 18 years later when ishiban's older yeah and then it goes into all that stuff and then you know you've got all of these people that you gotta fight and then it's like you know Young, the young boss's squad is no joke, bro. Yeah. <laughs> they, they people are no joke. So when you actually get to the end and you see what happens, and then the guy gets, you know, I'm not saying who, the guy gets stabbed, mm -hmm. and you're like, wow, what's going on? Yeah. And then, you, know, you, you see, next man is in jail. It's just like, what is going on? This yeah, is yeah, no. yeah, yeah, no, yeah, because uh, yeah, go on, sorry. It's a different beast that like that Yakuza 7, like a dragon. Like I said, I like Lost Judgment. I think Lost Judgment probably might have better songs, maybe, mm -hmm. than Like a Dragon. But as an overall package, nah, you can't mess with Like a Dragon. And I, anyone that says anything about the RPG style of it, man, you, you got to roll with the times, man. I, I really <laughs> liked it and I enjoyed it. I think 7 is like the definition of an emotional roller coaster. It does it so well. Um... And also, like, when it comes to, I don't know, like, comparing the RPG and the action combat, I know it's a controversial topic, please don't hate me for it, but... Me, personally, I can enjoy both of them. I actually love that, you know, Yakuza 7 does what it does, and then... Yak I mean, sorry, Lost Judgment, or Judgment, does mm -hmm. what Yakuza 7 doesn't, so... Like, when it comes to having, for example, multiple people helping you, and you playing as all of them, that's mm -hmm. only possible with a game like Yakuza 7, I feel like. Yeah, but in right. something like Last Judgment, you can't have that. You can have, like, backup with you, like, you know, Kaito, the others. But they're just gonna be there uh, with you in fights as, you know, uh, AI. That's it. Uh, so, yeah? I just remember something. Uh -huh. Very, very quickly. Uh -huh. One thing I'd improve on is the AI. The AI in Lost Judgment <laughs> is so bad. And I just wanted to get out of it. I forgot about that. Like, Kaito will just be standing there like this and doing nothing. <laughs> it's so bad. Like, swear out, please. That is really, really bad. Like, I if you're going to come with me and we're going to fight, don't be just standing there and 
All right, the guys, help me. I, I think, I don't know if you noticed, but I think they actually toned down the aggression of the AI from Judgment uh, to Last Judgment. In Judgment, oh, they would go ham on those enemies. You wouldn't even get a chance to attack that enemy. They just do all the work for you. Yep. But, in, but in Last Judgment, they just stand around. Bro, I'm looking at, I remember there's a time when my life was low and I'm trying to run around. I'm like, Kaito, get him, get him. And I was streaming, I was like, Kaito, get him. He's not even doing anything. I said, <laughs> Why are you even here then? <laughs> it's just meant to be for me. I'm meant to fight. You just gonna watch. I said, okay. I don't know why you have a life bar. <laughs> There's just so much to talk about. And again, like talking about all of this with you is such a pleasure, let me say. Uh, Likewise, man. Likewise. Uh, There's just one more thing that we have to get out of the way, which is yeah. anything that you felt Lost Judgment did better than Judgment and vice versa. So because it's more likely that Lost Judgment, you know, did a lot of things better. Let's talk about things that Judgment did better than Lost Judgment. I have it. I have two things listed here, and it's actually things we already talked about. Uh, first of all, is the item shortcuts. It's a minor thing, but I felt like it had a lot of impact. Um, the second thing is the number of villains. Uh, the first game had more than the second game. And that's about it, I feel like. every Everything else, I feel like Lost Judgment did better. What about you? I don't feel like they introduced some of the other things, like, you know, like the drone as well, because the drone wasn't really in the main story for Lost Judgment, from what I remember. I don't feel True. like I had to use the drone at all. True. Um, and Yeah? Yeah, no, I was just thinking, I didn't have to use the drone at all. I like the skateboard aspect. The skateboard aspect was pretty cool. Where yeah. You, skateboard and stuff you could even get a hoverboard at like i need to figure out how to do that i haven't done it yet but you mm -hmm. can have in videos where people have got a hoverboard and stuff so like that that aspect is cool but i do feel like the drone was really cool like but maybe people didn't like the drone stuff i can understand why people didn't like it, it was quite the controls were a bit hard yeah uh, sometimes mm -hmm. so i feel like i can understand um also as well i feel like in lost in the normal judgment i feel like the going into like buildings and fighting long battles we spoke about the long battles before but there was one in particular that I, there was two in particular that i really liked there was one where you had to fight that guy that had that big ball in his mouth uh-huh he was quite a quite a strong character in oh oh you mean the guy in the leather get up the le the le yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And he, he pulled up um i can't remember who he pulled up he pulled up someone a hammer someone. he took a hammer right 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 so like I felt like there was there should have been more kind of like they're not characters but they are kind of mini bosses characters. right Kane man that yeah. type of boss, like all of these type of people they there's hardly any like that in uh true in true Lost judgment whereas in judgment there was quite a few of them that i could list off that were really good um i don't feel like we went to like some of the places like um what's the place is it Oh man, start with Stardust. We didn't really go to like certain places that right. you would go to. St in... Stardust is the host club, and then Serena is the hideout from most of the Akaza games. Yeah, we didn't really go into any of those, and mm. I thought we kind of would have like just gone into them as maybe something that's into introduced into the story because usually those are the places that we kind of go to yeah. in the games. So I was a bit confused why we didn't go into some of the places like that. I feel like maybe they just wanted to kind of stay away from that and kind of mm. keep it to the Lost Judgment, but... Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I think the drone thing, they could, they should have added in, man. I think the drone thing was such a, it was such a nice touch. And the cats. Oh yeah, the cats. Uh, what happened to them? If I remember right, the first game, you just find them like while you're investigating in the story, right? Like there's right. almost always one, but... right. In Lost Judgment, from what I remember, in the parkour segments, you would just find cats laying around, which is, I don't, I don't know, it's nice, but it didn't feel interactive. No, man, I, I liked the way how it was before. You find one, so every time you, you're you doing the investigation, yeah. if you find one cat, it's extra skill points. Yeah. And I would love going for it. I'm like looking and I'm like, oh yeah, it's meow. <laughs> looking around, looking around, and you find it and it's like, oh yeah. Like that to me was kind of like, yeah, this is a judgment game. If you brought that back, it would be just in judgment games. And now it's like, you just removed it completely. And I think, come yeah. on. Yeah, it's a big shame. Uh, it was, 
for for the extra skill points, I would definitely have done it. I w I would have been I would have been like, yeah, look, let me look for for the cat. <laughs> you know, I feel like that's another thing that's missing. I feel like, um, I feel like that is it in terms of judgment, and I feel. Yeah, I feel like another thing that Judgment done, one last thing, is the final boss. Mm. That bit where they're getting, and he's blocking, blocking, and blocking. And yeah. And and that, that, what? Yes, I love that. And then he throws him outside, and he swings and comes back into the building. <laughs> and then you see Corey Wall's face, and you see the lightning. Yeah, and you see yeah. The lightning. He looks back at him. I'm like, <laughs> wow. So stuff like that could have been in something dramatic like that. Mm -hmm could have been in the last fight but it wasn't so the first judgment ain't that bad compared to lost judgment i feel like judgment the first one was the prototype to see yeah. what they can do but there is still some hidden gems mm -hmm. in judgment. so uh just to kind of recap so you prefer uh soma over the final boss but you prefer mm -hmm. soma over the final boss of judgment I think that's what you told me earlier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So Soma, so Soma over Jin, Soma over Koiwa. Okay. So do you think if they restructured the story somehow to make it so that Soma is the final boss, would that make the game's ending any better for you, or do you feel like it's not that? That's the issue. I don't feel like the way how Koiwa, um, not Koiwa, sorry. I don't feel like the way how Soma was dealt with was appropriate in the game because he got choked up. And then you see Jin, like the last the last thing you see is Jin. Yeah. And, close his eyes. and then at the end of the game, you see that he's there, just sitting there, just like. Yeah, that is true. Him. I do find it hard to believe that he's not doing anything to try to get out. And I'm looking and I'm like, <laughs> is this the same guy that carries a knife with him? Well, a couple knives, as we know. Um, is this know, the same guy that's a government assassin? Right, like, he's just sitting there like this, like, like he's being a good boy. <laughs> I, and I'm looking at like, I don't understand. Like, maybe I think if Soma, I think I like the twist that, you know, we thought that, you know, Soma was going to be the bad guy. Because they always do that in these games. It's always like, oh, we thought, we thought Hanmura was going to be the bad guy mm -hmm. at the end of Judgment. And then we find Koiwa is yeah. the bad guy. Mm -hmm. um, it usually happens, well, it seems like it usually happens in Judgment games. I don't know too much about yakuza i feel like yakuza is kind of like yeah you, you know who the bad guy is gonna be type of thing you know who you're gonna fight mm. yeah, judgment's kind of got the twist so i think the gin choice is very good but i think the the, the choreography whatever you want to call it yeah bro it could have been a lot more scenes man i want to see that martial arts definitely like, I don't like that climbing on the scaffolding and then they're kicking and then they climb on like, the top and the thing mm, that's the thing about that climbing sequence, <laughs> I like it, but I felt half of it was just climbing. So, like they definitely could have done more with that because, uh, yeah, like I said, half of the time they're just climbing. There's no actual attacking happening. It didn't make sense when you really think about it as well. Like they got all right, cool. Think of it. We're gonna fight. I, I might be like maybe Yagami was getting the better of him because obviously life bar wise you're getting the better of him whatever why are you climbing up a scaffold <laughs> if I don't climb up there what are you gonna do true <laughs> so it, it didn't it almost didn't make any sense it was like it would have made more sense like, you know if he, he's not because he's not trying to run away remember you know he's through the fauna floor he's angry mm -hmm. he's trying to he's trying to beat up Yagami so why are we climbing up a scaffold? And then it's like, all right, cool, we've climbed up the scaffold. But then now you're trying to throw me off the scaffold. <laughs> the way you simplified the final quick time event as well as just him kicking him down was hilarious. Like, that's really just what happens. I didn't understand it. I was like, bro, is this the final part? Of the <laughs> like, don't give I love the game, but it just like kicks him down, he jumps off, and then he just walks. Yeah. Oh, don't do the game like this. This game is a masterpiece. <laughs> don't do it. Like, there was so much things. It could have been fighting, fighting, fighting. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, he's trying to throw him up. Then he's trying to throw him up. Then yeah. he eventually throws him up. And then 
something else happens, then, you know, maybe they're both trying to, they're both hitting each other, hitting each other, until when Yagami just gives him the last blow and then he just drops on the floor. Yeah. Then could have been like, wow, this is, uh... but just to get kicked off that scaffold. Yeah, man. yeah, it's just so anticlimactic now that I think about it. Um... Yeah. So, I don't know, man. I love the game, but yeah, that last, that last fight, man, it, it would, it, it just, it would have been icing on the cake if they just put some more effort into it, man. So, would you say, like, that's the main, or one of the main reasons why you give this game a 9 out of 10? Yeah, I feel like the, I felt like the whole thing kind of led towards something great, and then, you know, you're seeing stuff, I, like, there's, bro, I was staying up every day, like, literally, I, <laughs> It's only until my eyes are red and I was tired. Then I wake up and I've got time. I'm like, yo, I'm going back onto this game. This game was so addictive. Yeah. It was just the last fight. Like, even getting into the building and you're fighting all of these opponents. And then you're going in, you're, you're using the forklift. And then you're going through the door and you're seeing their faces. Like, it just felt so good. And then you fight Soma and the boys. Then you fight Soma. Yeah. And you see how cold he is. You see how cold your got me is. <laughs> and then it's just Jin, bro. Jin. Yeah. Um. That, that is the one thing. And then I think it was Jin and the ending. I felt like it was rushed, that part. Because it's just like, oh, yeah, he walks off. So It was pretty short, yeah. Um, like, yeah. Like, like, I guess the, the main reason why he walks off is that Jin says they can't really touch him because... He left no evidence behind, but I don't know. I, I guess they tried to show us that Yagami did have an impact on him when they announced the location of five other bodies on TV. So I, I guess, I guess, like this just tells us that maybe Kawan is gonna stop. I don't know. Uh, this is what I'm saying. It, it, it just. It was, I felt like the ending was so lackluster to compare to what was there. Like they, they gave the impact of what the story is about and they touched on a lot of very serious subjects. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about the game. But I felt like Neda and, oh yeah, him walking away and, you know, they find the bodies and then, yeah, like, you know, they, they these kids, um, they showcase someone else getting bullied and mm. they make it public. Like it it gave the story of, yeah, make, make, it, make spread awareness. Cool, finished. And then they're just chilling in the room. All of the guys are chilling. <laughs> the game's done. And I'm like... I guess... Is it a dream then? I guess, like, the one saving grace I can give to the game is that... Well, at least when it comes to something like, you know, bullying, it's not mm -hmm. something that anyone can solve, unfortunately. Like, it just mm -hmm. keeps happening. It's a cycle, you know? You try to mm -hmm. do something about it, but it's not guaranteed that it's going to work. So... I feel like if I want to give the game an excuse, I would just say, yeah, it has complicated subjects that can't really be resolved very easily. But, like, I, I know, it still could have been done better. They tackled it, though. That's the thing. They done the hard part. The hard part was tackled because the whole story was based on what it was. Mm. But what I'm saying is, is the ending. The ending was the guy walking away. It's like he walked away into the sunset and it was done. And I'm like... <laughs> Oh, so you had a fight with this guy. This guy then walks away with, to the sunset, says, oh, yeah, you didn't leave no evidence behind. <laughs> so what happens to Soma? Did Soma get, like, what's happening to all these people? Like, you know, Soma's sitting there and he, he's just going to get arrested. Okay, like, mm. so the game done? Like, Yeah, they definitely should have shown us more. Yeah, it, um... just seemed, it just seemed so rushed. Like, the ending was so rushed it just didn't make no sense compared mm. to like everything i just played i was literally like oh and i think maybe that's one of the reasons why i didn't really kind of go back to it like i know i i, I love the game and stuff but i feel like it was just like there's such a lackluster of the ending that i was just like oh okay well i guess i gotta wait maybe three or four years or two years <laughs> for another if they do make another judgment game and it's just like mm. and it just that's what let if they had they had a good ending i i said the last judgment was 10 out of 10 and that was because i was just crazy over the game i love the game but obviously it's not 10 out of 10 now compared to this but it's just you know yeah this is a 9 out of 10 man it, it that ending was yeah the, and the final boss the song is great the song is what balances it out mm. but it, it was lackluster mm -hmm. yeah like 
I guess to sum up, like we did bring up what makes or what uh, the first game brought that is better than the second game. But mm. but if we really talk about Lost Judgment, like even with the ending issue, it's just better in any way, in every way. Combat, like smoothness, like the existing style enhancements, the new styles. Also, something we didn't talk about, the gear system. You can equip armor and that kind of thing, and it would have effects. I, I completely forgot about that, but yeah, that's another thing that I like about this game. Uh, that's, from y that's, that's from Yakuza. Yeah. Yakuza 7. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So I definitely appreciate that they have this here. Uh, what else? Like two cities as opposed to the first game having just one. And also, mm. I guess the boys with you kind of being there more often than the first game. So I guess those things I really liked uh, compared mm. to the first game. And the yeah. gear system, I forgot about that, man. <laughs> Same. What I'm saying it's crossing over. They're crossing over. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, and yeah, unfortunately, like we said before, I haven't done any of the side content, so I can't really speak much about those, but I heard really good things about them. Uh, what's it called? There is a, like a side story called School Stories. I heard the storyline for that is amazing, and it's something that could have been a main judgment plot so i'm gonna go th through that uh sometime later same i've got uh, quite, quite a few to go through i haven't got the boxing style yet um i know the kaito one's coming soon as well so i want to see what's going on with that mm -hmm. um yeah I, I like to see what other dlc stuff i hope they kind of what one thing i want rgg studio to do is i want them to milk the the dlc and why i say that is because i don't want this game to end on just that mm. i feel like it's more that they can kind of do and still base around lost judgment uh, even this story you know maybe even some more deep stuff about soma maybe mm -hmm. how he was like like before and in the past and you know how we built up R rk and all yeah. of this stuff like, uh -huh. there's so much things to do i just feel like with what is what they've given us on the tin man it, yeah there could be more there could be more for sure yeah, definitely. Uh, I feel like with these games, there always is room for like more exploration if they want to do it. So I don't know. M maybe uh, like we we're gonna see something of that nature maybe in the next game. Hopefully, there's a next game. I don't know if there's going to be, but let's just hope. Let's just yeah. Let's just pray. Uh, and yeah, like I don't know. I feel like this brings us pretty much to a conclusion now is there anything that you want to add uh i just want to say yeah man like i i love the game i love yakuza games same for, for content this is your guy Make sure you go <laughs> i am like, wait i'm on the opposite side on my end oh, you're, uh, oh okay. uh, there we this go right. yes there we go <laughs> thank yeah, you thank you sure so you much hey, uh, make sure you go there. um all the long battles, boss fights, you know, one thing I would say before we end this, mm -hmm. and I hope I don't make him blush, is when I don't play a Yakuza game, like for example, I didn't I ain't played Yakuza 6, uh -huh. 5, 4, uh -huh. I only knew the story from watching your content. So like, I would watch your boss battles <laughs> and stuff like that, and I'll be like, oh, okay, so this is why this person doesn't like that person, and that's why this person doesn't like that person, and I got into Yakuza 0 because of you my goodness so, dude yeah. i i that's don't know what to say law. like just <laughs> yeah, that's the law like i'm a I've, I've been a huge fan for a very very long time and thank it doesn't you, matter you, about the numbers it doesn't matter about like i just literally was like oh i want to find yakuza content i'd never <laughs> ever seen a yakuza youtuber and it was it's like all right cool so then when i was saying seeing all your stuff and i was like all right cool this guy so kiryu yeah he's fighting against you know this person so why is he fighting him and there's loads of different things that so i would only find out information of the story through just watching your content like either the long battles like if you have if they're going through this certain place i'm like why are they going through this place then i would have to watch like another thing like maybe a boss battle that's kind of near to where that part is and then there's certain other things like you have like certain things what tell the story so yeah i, I literally was watching it for your content and I, i've been subscribed for a while so just, i'm a big fan dude i don't know where to start i just want to say thank you so much i really appreciate like you know all uh stuff that you watch from my channel and I just want to say, like, thankfully, you know, it's very fortunate that the community is now growing. And there is definitely more outlets now, more than ever. Like, I remember seeing, like, some kind of, uh, 
a Yakuza composer appreciation video. So it's nice to see people like bringing these topics up, exploring them, uh, and just, you know, uh, seeing the community grow in general, uh, and, you know, spreading positive vibes. So, and I just want to say this to my viewers, if you're into fighting games, if you're into Tekken, Guilty Gear, anything of that nature, this man over here uh, uploads all of that stuff. So if you want fighting game content, please check out his channel. F please do it for me. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank and, you very much. And, yeah. <laughs> thank you. I actually am wondering about one thing. So how often it is that you stream something that isn't a fighting game? Like, say, just a new game that you want to play. Is it rare or is it, like, common? So I've been trying to get into it quite a bit because... Um... I do like Tekken. I feel like because I play it quite a lot and I'm I'm very very experienced in the game. I like to try and get the higher ranks and stuff. Mm -hmm. so I do play it. I do play it quite often. But then it's like I've been playing like a bit of Guilty Gear, trying to kind of feed that into my channel. Um, when Judgment came, I literally I was binging that game. Like I was not playing no Tekken. Like I told people, look, I don't care if I only get twenty <laughs> viewers. I don't care if I only get ten. I still remember that. I, I exactly see. I was only playing lost judgment and i think i played it for a solid like a, one day would be 10 hours another <laughs> day would be 12 hours another day would be like literally people were like oh yeah you playing tekken no nope, not playing tekken dude today. Like, mad respect game. mad so, respect like so i yeah i just on. didn't care about i just didn't care about like i care about my viewers but i just didn't care about having 10 or 20 viewers at the time mm. it literally was this is what i like I want you lot to come and tune in. If you lot don't want to, that's perfectly fine. I understand you lot will come in for Tekken and see the skills, whatever. But this game is what I'm going to be playing at this time. It's important to you. So, you know, you want to play it. Yeah. And like, I understand this fully because I try to stream games that aren't Yakuza. Like the last year, I think I tried to stream the Silent Hill series. So I went through like four games almost back to back. And, okay. you know, as you may expect, I don't have, like, the usual amount of viewers, but mm -hmm. I just wanted to go through these games, you know? I really love Silent Hill, and I don't know, it's just pretty chill having people there with you. Like, even if they're 10, 5, 20, it's something, you know? Mm -hmm. You can still enjoy that experience. Trust me, man. I, I, yeah, like, I think the most I had on Judgment was, like, 70 at one point. Like, it was, like, it was pretty cool. It was pretty chilled. I was just like, all right, cool. Um, I remember you was playing the other Yakuza. You was playing it recently on PSP. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I was watching that one. That one's <laughs> kind of crazy, but that's another topic for another day. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I, I like that game. But, uh, but yeah, I just want to say, like, it's a big, big, big pleasure to be here with you and just talking for, like, two and a half hours now about Yo, last man, judgment man. the time <laughs> time just flew by i swear to god uh, yeah no, it's cool man but i hope you lot enjoyed you know it's been it's been literally two and a half hours two and a half hours people i hope you digest this content very well uh <laughs> so one half is going to be in his channel and the other half is going to be on my channel so if you really want to see like just you know two people just really expressing their love for last judgment uh, check out both halves, and I just hope you enjoy what we have uh, brought to you today. Um, and yeah, uh, I just want to tell everyone, if you made it this far without skipping, thank you for watching. And, uh, and yeah, anything you want to add, Jay? Remember to subscribe to both channels. Yes. Descriptions are important. And yes. Don't digest the content. You know, we, we take time out to try and make... You know, this content out of our busy schedules. You know, we're both busy guys. <laughs> it's free to subscribe and it supports both channels. He's right, you know. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Yeah. Oh man, that's oh, a wrap. Man, that's <laughs> oh man, bro, that was so sick, man. It oh. was. It was. Uh, I feel like a judgment now, man. <laughs> man, like if you're feeling like it, go for it.